Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week I want to speak about being impeccable in everything that you do. And the reason I want to speak about this is because I believe, as I spoke about a couple of weeks ago, that everything in life is on the way and not in the way. And I'll put a link to that particular episode below in case you want to listen to it. And what I mean by this is that source, you might call it God or Allah, and I'm not here to dispute that. I'm happy for you to call it whatever you want. But this is just the word I'm comfortable with as a description for all it is, is guiding us towards what it is that we and our souls are here to experience and create. And when we resist what shows up in our life and we fight it and we don't engage with it and we don't show up fully, we cause resistance to what is trying to unfold in our lives and we make it harder for ourselves. Um, if you think about fighting against the path life is trying to take you on, that source is trying to take you on and you're busy having a temper tantrum because you don't like the scenery, then you're standing there in that moment feeling cross, angry, hurt, upset, frustrated, whatever it is that you're feeling and you're not showing up and actually being your best self. Um, when I look back on my life, um, I've had jobs and things that I've done that I never didn't particularly enjoy at the time, but at the time they were what I needed to do. And yet when I look back on my life, they have all played an intricate part of what I was able to do later on. For instance, when I first moved to the UK in my 20s, I ended up working for Superdrug in logistics. And I remember at the time thinking, I can't think why on earth this particular job would ever help me any other time in my life. And yet about 10 or I think it was about 10 years later, I ended up opening up my own wine business and importing and distributing wine. And logistics was obviously <laughs> highly important in that particular company that I started. So I wouldn't have known that. And if I had resisted the first logistics job at Superdrug, if I hadn't shown up and tried to give my best and be the best that I could be at that job at that time, I wouldn't have gained as much knowledge and understanding as I had at the time. And I wouldn't have been able to use that when I started my wine business. And I, I just wanted to sort of say that sometimes what we end up doing in our life, you might not particularly be happy in the job that you're in, but you have no knowledge of, you know, the next five, 10 years where you're going to be and how where you are now is going to fit into that. But if you show up every day and you give your best and you give of your best and you do as much as you're capable of doing, and I'm not saying that you should be better than you are, I'm just saying show up and really try to do your best because you don't know who's going to see you you don't know what knowledge you're going to gain that you might need to use in the future. You don't know what connections you're going to make. You have no idea what impact you'll make. And all of those things, you can't see the threads that are going to spread from there. And if nothing else, the more that you show up and are good and at what you do and in your everyday life, the more you will believe in yourself, the more that you will know that you can and more confidence you'll have. And whatever you step on to do after this, will have a much greater impact because you will start to believe in yourself. So behaving in an impeccable manner at all times in your life, whether it is at work, as I've been speaking about now, but also in your home life, has massive implications, not just to the moment that you're currently in, but to all your future life and the future pathways that you might take from there on in. It doesn't matter how insignificant what you think you're doing is, you have no idea of where it could lead to. So I hope that what I've been talking about has given you pause for thought. And I just wanted to say as well that I'm not always impeccable. I strive to be, but I'm also human and sometimes I fall down. Um, yet when I do fall down and I'm not being who I really want to be, there's a part of me that realizes that and is constantly striving to try and put things in place to ensure that I can stay, stay at and maintain the level of impeccability that I'd like to maintain. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode and you've enjoyed any of the future past ones, just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you're interested in my coaching or any of my online courses, there are links to those in the show notes below. Have a fabulous week and I'll see you next week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.